What's up, everybody? This is Game Freak, and I finally got the opportunity to just play the dog shit out of this system. And I can't lie, I had a blast doing it. Every game on it, I had a blast. Capcom makes great games, uh, so I knew I was going to have fun on it. But I didn't think that the buttons were going to be so uh, perfectly reactive to everything. I mean, I, there was no hesitation on anything. Everything was exactly like the arcade when I used to go and play the stuff at, I believe it was 7-Eleven. Used to always go buy a cherry Slurpee and get like $5 worth of quarters and just feed these machines. Now the cool thing about this is you don't have to pay all these quarters. All you have to do is hit the select button and that's your quarters. You just put as many credits in as you want. And uh, it was really cool playing this game right here, Commando, which I ended up playing in vertical mode or Tate, if you want to say it that way, but I forgot how hard this fucking game is, but you don't want stuff easy, you want a challenge, so this was a blast, I mean, it, so many memories, um, the only negatives that I could say about this system so far that I have seen is the battery life I don't think it's a four hour battery life like it says it is. I noticed that it, it got about three hours of battery life, maybe a little longer. And it doesn't take too long to charge up or anything. So it's, it's not too inconvenient, but I wouldn't say it's a four hour battery life like the box and the instructions say it is. And the other thing, uh, I noticed that it gets kind of warm in the back the longer you play it, but it does have uh, some air vents in the back for it to cool off and everything. So it didn't overheat or anything, but I did notice that it does get a little bit warm. So I, I don't have or see a problem with it right now. Uh, my main thing issue was the battery life but like i said you can just you can keep it plugged in and play and then you don't have to worry about it but i do highly recommend this this is a great little handheld uh, has a lot of good games like i mentioned in a, another video or the past video you can play your vs games on it and vice versa you can take these games and play on the vs Unfortunately, they don't have a Capcom cartridge, so the only way you're going to play that is through this system. So, all in all, I, I definitely recommend it. I think if you're into the old retro games or the arcade games, you'll definitely have a lot of fun with this. So there we have it. Big Brother and Little Brother. Both great systems. And I want to mention something really quick about the VS. Um, if you don't want to use these controllers, which I don't know why you wouldn't, they feel great, they play great, they re react great. But if it's just not your thing, um, you can sync up a third-party controller to it, like your PS5 controllers, a uh, wireless Xbox controller, uh, PS3 controller, really anything. If it's wireless, it will most likely sync up to this system. So with these two systems, it was a bargain. I mean, I bought this for 130, bought this for 150. So that's 280 bucks for both of these total. And on top of that, I mean, I haven't even went and bought any games yet. Just the stuff that comes with it. I already have 42 games. So you can't beat that. 42 games, two systems, under $300 for both. I mean, that's, that's a steal. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, game on.